And we failed our people in this regard. So we have got to change the culture. The president of LSU says there was a, quote, institutional betrayal in how the university handled accusations of sexual misconduct. This comes as an outside law firm released its report of failures to address such issues on campus. That report issued by the law firm is uh, 148 pages, and it includes some big names of LSU football, including former head coach Les Miles and former running back Darius Gies. Yeah, Tan Trung is bringing us the latest on the report and the suspensions of two members of LSU's athletic department. One of the major findings in the report on LSU's handling of sexual misconduct is the university's failure to properly support and staff its Title IX office. That office is supposed to address any reported violations of the federal law against sexual discrimination in education. I want to again offer a sincere apology to the survivors of domestic and sexual violence on our campus. That's LSU President Tom Galligan apologizing for past mistakes detailed in this 148 page report. Now to the present. Two members of the athletic department are suspended. Executive Athletic Director Verge Osbury and Senior Associate Athletic Director Miriam Seeger. Both were named in the report, along with several former members of the football team and coaching staff, including Les Miles. Even though LSU prohibited Miles from being alone with female students following a 2013 internal investigation, today's report determined LSU did not properly respond to allegations of sexual misconduct against Miles. The former head coach has strongly denied the allegations. One LSU graduate who said she had her own challenges with reporting to the Title IX office blasted LSU's board on a Zoom call today. You hired a known domestic abuser as head football coach, yet today you will pretend to be shocked and appalled that he covered up his player's sexual misconduct. The report found systematic problems with what should have been mandatory reporting of allegations. While athletes will get most of the headlines, the investigators say LSU as a whole needs to change its approach to sexual misconduct. Coach uh, Ogeron in particular, I think, knew of these things. But, but what you want is you don't want the coaches involved in these investigations. Yes, they should know about it, uh, but we don't want the athletics department involved in these investigations. The most important thing, I think, and this is going to take time, is culture. And the culture has to be we do not accept domestic and sexual violence at LSU. Work on the report began after USA Today published its investigation into allegations of misconduct last fall. One former student said today that is the only reason why apologies are being offered now. Tan Trung, Eyewitness News. And to read the full report, go to WWLTV.com and we will connect you.